clearly there is a huge amount of opposition to this ban. But you're an MP, you're a politician, mm -hmm. you're somebody who can say to Mr Trump when he comes to Parliament, we completely disagree with this. But if he doesn't come and address Parliament, how do you get that opportunity? Well, the reality is, on a, on a visit to Parliament, you don't get a chance to ask him questions. It's one of the highest honours that's given to somebody to address Western, Mr Hall. That's where Nelson Mandela um, addressed Parliament. Um, it's where Winston Churchill lay in state. And I don't think it should be offered um, to somebody but who's made the, the comments he has. It's our democracy, isn't but, it? But, but it's actually an honour. And, and my question is not whether Donald Trump should come to this country. Of course he should come to this country. Of course he should be able to have discussions mm. with MPs and with the government, I'm not suggesting he should be banned in any way. But I don't think he should be given the highest honours, not least after what he said in recent days about refugees, about women, about torture. He's not somebody who we should so be giving an honour. what he said about place. women, and yet Bill Clinton uh, spoke to both houses after having had sex with an intern in the Oval Office. What where were you then? Well, but I, I wasn't an MP at that time, but Bill Clinton, you know, in the past, we're talking about now, we're talking about Donald Trump now, what he said about women, uh, the ban on well, women's organisations. You, you can't just ignore history. I mean, my other point about this, you, you don't want the Queen to be involved with Donald mm -hmm. Trump's visit, right? Mm -hmm. And yet, in the last 10 years alone, we've had state visits for Vladimir Putin, Absolutely. King Abdullah mm -hmm. of Saudi Arabia when he was alive, mm -hmm. uh, who uh, currently there's a plan to actually uh, execute people for being mm -hmm. gay, mm -hmm. right? China mm -hmm. had a state visit, and so on and so on. It's just utter hypocrisy, isn't it? Why no. on earth would we single out the president of free democratic United States, our great special relationship partner, for this humiliation? when we didn't do it to Russia, China or Saudi Arabia? Well, I actually criticised all of those visits, Piers. But where were the marches? And, where and, were the well, protests? I, there were many, where there were many the, protests against the president of China. Where were the and marches, certainly I, I was very, protests? Well, well I, I was very concerned about the visit of the king of Saudi Arabia. Mm. Um, I think Saudi Arabia has got a terrible record on, on human rights. Well, I think we should be letting in those people for that, that state Give visit. Give me a that name highest, of a world that leader you'd be comfortable honor. with. Well, obviously, people like uh, President Trudeau of Canada, I think, has shown that right. kind of partnership with Britain. Um, you so know, people you agree with? No, it's a question of, should we be giving the highest honour in the land? Should we drag no, get, the Queen? What it is. Should we be dragging the Queen I'm, into controversy? I'm interested in who you think shares our values, though. Which, which are the... Well, I don't, I don't think it's British values to be banning refugees, to be no. um, advocating torture. I don't think that's right. And I also think it looks pretty desperate for us to be running across the world um, straight away, before we've even seen what President Trump does in office, okay. to be sort of saying, we're just going to give you everything on okay, a plate, the I, Queen, um, the, the march down the yeah, mall. The people that Piers uh, mentions were not... Uh, in all cases, mm -hmm. democratically mm -hmm. elected. Mm -hmm. However much you might oppose mm -hmm. what President Trump is doing, he is doing exactly what he promised mm -hmm. the American people he would do mm -hmm. once he became elected. And they elected him to do that. Mm -hmm. You now want to ban him from the place where we elect people mm -hmm. in order to speak their minds. Mm -hmm. That's an incredibly anti-democratic stance to take. Well, You're no, not it, just... Well, Actually, denying with, with, his with, voice, no, you're denying with, the voice of the American no, with, people. With, no, with respect, and this is about what Britain does. Do we show leadership? Do we stand up for the type of values that we believe we in? And do we offer democracy? our highest honours? Do, do we, we defend do we, democracy? Do we, do we offer the highest honours to people who stand against things that the government themselves have criticised? Peers, yourself, you've criticised yeah. the decision. Um, know, and my, I, I and my think, question is, do we give that all on a plate straight well, away? Look, straight away, that, that visit with the Queen. Okay, let me answer. Let me answer. The carriage down the mall. I did criticise it because I think it's a flawed plan in the sense that countries like Saudi Arabia and Pakistan and Egypt, which have been fomenting terrorism for a long time, are not on the banned mm -hmm. list. I also don't understand why green card holders, legal permanent residents, have been pulled aside and detained, etc., um, etc. Et there are deep flaws in this thing. What I don't like is the way it's now been framed as a ban on Muslims, because that's just factually inaccurate. Except this... that is exactly what he promised in his campaign. Initially he said that was what he was going to do. He said a... it a number of times. No, but yeah. I think the way to deal with Trump, it seems to me, is not mass hysterical screaming and marching. I think you've got to be more focused personally, right, about to be more effective. And what I, the trouble is I, I now see it framed as a Muslim ban. He just turns around and says, well, it's not. 85% of all the world's Muslims are living in countries that are free to come into America. It's not a ban on Muslims. He's targeted the seven countries which Obama's administration and the CIA had cited as the seven most dangerous places for fomenting terrorism in the world. Now, mm. regardless of the debate over the minutiae has been executed, mm. there will be a lot of people in America 
who share his concern mm -hmm. about those seven countries and about the potential risk of people getting into the refugee but, system. But, but with respect, this is about what Britain chooses to do. This is about British values, about what we stand for in the world. Are we a leader? Do we stand up to yeah. our strongest allies when they get things wrong? Or do we follow? And do we run desperate across? Do we offer everything on a plate before we've even seen what the President's done? It doesn't strike me as a very good set of but negotiations to offer our highest honours on day one. That. I do get it. But my, my point is, if you're Donald Trump, and you consider yourself to be half British, your mum was Scottish, you'd be looking forward to this, mm -hmm. the Prime Minister's extended the invitation, and suddenly it all gets cancelled. Well, you you get... don't offer it on day one. You well, would, it has uh, been you offered. Won't, you won't, yeah, but you, you shouldn't have. I and mean, we've heard from the, I, the, the former head of the Foreign Office and say, dragging the Queen into but this once controversy, it's been offered, the pub, British it's... public are not happy with this. Look at the number of people who have signed the petition.